James in Sacramento writes to me and he says, Hi Paul, I absolutely love your channel. Aren't you kind? I appreciate it. I, I, I really do appreciate this entire community. Thank you all for watching. Um, I look forward to watching every day and appreciate all the advice. And I currently have my front speakers are 10 feet apart from each other. So that would be from here to here. Um, and my listening position is 10 feet from the speakers. And that creates an equilateral triangle, right? 10, 10, 10, all that. However, the speakers are only about a foot and a half from the front wall. Mm -hmm. I would like to pull them out another foot or two, but to do this would make them closer to the listening position, and I would lose the equal distancing. Unfortunately, I can't move my listening position further away, so in order to keep everything symmetrical, I would need to move my speakers closer together to adjust for them being the closer distance to my listening position. Would this ruin my current soundstage, and is it more beneficial to have proper distancing between each speaker or between the speakers and the front wall? Well, the simple answer to that is you'd be better off pulling them from the front wall. That's, that, that, that be the front wall right there. So this is really critical. You don't want speakers pushed up against that wall behind the speakers. You really don't because it, there's all kinds of timbral uh, changes that happen because that wall can act like a, uh, making this, this very specific baffle. This, this is the baffle of a speaker the front of it. It's, it's when, when we design speakers, that baffle is very, very specific and our crossover is designed to make up for the slight amplification at some frequencies and not others that the baffle provides. In fact, there's a, um, uh, when we're designing speakers, there's something called the baffle step that we put into a crossover and baffle step is a change in the frequency response of the crossover at specific frequencies to make up for the fact that higher frequencies bounce off of this and as the frequencies go down they wrap around and we don't hear them as well. And when you push a speaker up against the wall you're defeating all of that because now all of a sudden you know with that baffle step on a properly designed speaker you're, this becomes the baffle. So the farther away we can pull it out from the wall, the better off we are. Now, specifically, if we do that, obviously, you're going to have to pull your speakers closer together. You've already figured that out. That's okay. That triangle does not have to be equilateral. Not by any means. Don't even pay any attention to it. Uh, in, in the audiophile's guide, I discuss ways that you can move them in and out, change it. So absolutely, you can get there. So just move them where you need to be. Then you can fool around with positioning and get it, but do, for whatever you want to do, get a better soundstage by moving them away from the front wall. You are on the right track. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.